dementia? It's tough on everybody. You know, it's tough on family members, friends, um, you know, the patient, uh, the caregivers. I mean, it, it's a, it's all inclusive. I'm neighborhood reporter Kenya Cardone in Northeast Tallahassee, where the legacy of former FSU baseball coach Mike Martin is being celebrated as a new healthcare mission begins. Uh, he worked hard every day. Uh, he was very consistent in his attitude and uh, his positiveness. He was always positive and, uh, you know, the guys really respected him because he treated him like a man. The son of former FSU baseball coach Mike Martin sharing memories of his father, a man widely remembered by his community as... A good teacher and a good person and a good example. The winningest coach in the history of college baseball who earlier this year died of Lewy body dementia. One of over 100 forms of dementia affecting people every day. You know, it was a very difficult time for us, but, um, you know, we made it through and, um, you know, but again, he's in, a, he's in a better place. But it's not just about him, it was the whole family. According to the Alzheimer's Association, it's a burden 840,000 family caregivers in Florida face today. Well, you know, families face uh, a lot of uncertainties. Uh, they, they face not knowing some of the what what the triggers are going to be or what what what's going to send them into crisis or or even what the disease is the alzheimer's project works to provide resources like respite services counseling and support groups all in hopes of giving caregivers a break you know it's one of those things where you think you've got it figured out and you know some tricks of the trade and then there, you never know what the next day is going to bring and um you know that's why the alzheimer's project is is such a neat organization because they really guide you through it Saturday, the community gathered for the inaugural Run for the Roses, an event to honor Martin's legacy and mark the beginning of the Mike Martin Fund. Money raised will help the Alzheimer's Project continue to provide those resources for families, resources Martin Jr. says are necessary to navigate through the difficulties of dementia. A lot of people think they can do it themselves. You know, we did that, and, and that was wrong, because you can't. You think you do, but you can't. And, um, you know, just partner with them and, um, you know, stay together as a family. According to the World Health Organization, every year there are nearly 10 million new cases of dementia in the U.S. In Northeast Tallahassee, Kenya Cardone, ABC 27.